Non.
on uh, Matthew Kelly's Life is Messy. Uh, we still have a couple of copies up here if you would like to take one. Uh, we'll be looking at pages 1 through 35. It would be good that I have make sure I have contact information. If you already know that we're Facebook friends or I have your email, okay, we're good. Um, so I can get you the Zoom link and also some, some guiding questions so that as you're looking at pages 1 through 35 in preparation for Wednesday, um, some, some things to kind of be thinking about to help guide our, our conversation together. Um, and then today we begin uh, our, our Lenten uh, special offering, One Great Hour of Sharing, and those envelopes are on the table in the back, so if you would like to participate in that offering, um, One Great Hour of Sharing is our, our disaster uh, relief uh, special offering, so some of those monies would definitely be going to the people in Ukraine, and then because of that acute situation, um, I also have <clears throat> some information there at the, the bottom of the uh, back page. The emergency appeal specifically for Ukraine, and they have a, a link where they are asking that donations, if at all possible, be made electronically because that gets the resources to where they need to be quickly. Um, so if you would be interested in participating in that, um, there's that information. And for those of you who are into advanced calendaring, um, and I know people make plans ahead of time, uh, but, but I hope they remind us of this again later. So the Delaware County Veterans Free drive through Appreciation Spaghetti Dinner, Wednesday, April 27th. That's a while down the road. But, uh, so like I say, advanced calendaring, uh, you can put that, and I'll leave it here on the pulpit and try to remember to remind us, because, you know, by the time we get to April 27th, Easter will have been in the rearview mirror for two weeks, so that, that's a ways away. Um, and we even had some advanced information, and I sent out an email to our uh, Sunday school people um, up in Manchester, uh, they're already thinking about a vacation Bible school there. And I said, well, here's the week they're doing theirs. We might want to avoid that week. Um, so that's all the way into June, people are calendar. I, you know, sometimes Brad asks me after church, well, what are you preaching on next week so we can think about music? And I, I'll be honest and say, I ain't got a clue. <laughs> And, and these people are calendaring months ahead. I, oh, it's not how my brain works. Yes. Uh, let's see. And of course, uh, the, the upper room devotional booklets, if you want something to kind of guide some daily devotions during Lent, uh, those are back there as well. I notice that this is the last little one. So if you want a little one, feel free to grab this one. Uh, the rest are big ones. And uh, since the communion table is busy today, uh, the Life is Messy folks are over here who the sign up chief to mm -hmm. let me know you're going to be a part of that. Any other announcements need to be made about anything going on in church life, community? Uh, looked at Facebook today, didn't see any birthdays. Um, anybody got a birthday here, first part of mine? March is already here. As I've heard it said recently, days drag and years fly. I decided that's true. You can say that about months as well. No birthday, never All right. Well, then I would invite you to stand in body or in spirit for the call to worship as found in your bulletin. Come away from the gods of your own creation to worship the living God. We leave our anxious toil and worries to find rest in our Creator's presence. Let us turn away from preoccupation with earthly things to ponder truths that are eternal. Before all the wonders of creation that we can see, 
We come to contemplate the realities that are unseen. Fear not, for God is your shield. Your reward shall be very great. God gathered us together in covenant as a hen gathers her brood under her wings. Our opening hymn is number 461, verses 1, 2, and 4. We 
itself. For those whose lives have been disrupted by, by war, by storms, um, let's give thanks for our blessings, our safety, and for, for those whose lives have been disrupted. Are there other persons, joys, concerns we should be aware of as we come to prayer today? Um, so Reagan had a chance to the surgery went well and she is in, um, she's on the uphill battle. It takes about five days before you start to feel, yeah. you get worse before you get better and she's in the getting worse. So prayers for Reagan um, and for my friend Pam. She did not get good um, follow-up cancer results last week, so she's going in for another biopsy on Wednesday. Um, we had our grandson overnight, Friday, um, into yesterday, because our, our son and daughter-in-law made the trip to uh, Clear Lake to say goodbye to a friend and celebrate the life of, of a young man in his 40s that um, I had never heard of him, but he used to play with Willie Nelson. I figured you got to be pretty good to do that. And uh, his, his, one of his final wishes, he wanted his celebration of life to be at the surf ball room. Um, that's the kind of life he had and the spirit he had. So. As my son said, Dad, damn cancer. I'm like, yeah, yeah. It, it's a tough one. And that's when we seem to make one step forward and take two steps back. So, <sighs> anyone else? And let's be a prayer again. Creator God creating still. There are times when we look at your creation and wonder why, Lord? Why is there war? Why do we have weather that can be so destructive, even to the point of taking lives? Why do we have disease? takes people from us, or changes their lives immensely. Hard to figure out, Lord, but we are your people. We gather in faith. We trust in you. Knowing that somehow, some way, whatever the messes we encounter, many of which we bring on ourselves, that you are there with us, that you will give us the strength to endure and to 
to share with others that are hurting a whole lot more than we are. So, Lord, on this first Sunday of Lent, as we turn our eyes towards Jerusalem and the events that we know will transpire there, we ask that you keep us on your path, working for and toward those things that you would have us do. And knowing, knowing that you are with us each and every step of the way. And now in a moment of quiet, we would bring before you those special prayer concerns that we feel <coughs> so deeply in our own hearts and minds this day. 